Yeda wapo. Aro kere ni mo. Nena ye di ebo. Wai kere ni me. Welcome back to another lesson. Hi, welcome to the introduction of Wakreke language on YouTube. My name is Abie Hector Goma, and with me is our head teacher, Dr. Mrs. Ibibia Shegonjo. Hey, I don't care anymore. So yes, on behalf of Wakreke Development Coalition, we are really excited to tell you about the progress we have made with the Wakreke language. We started back in May 2017. We set up a WhatsApp group to teach our language. And then from there, we tried a face-to-face -face, um, language school, one in Port Harcourt, one in Ogubolo um, local government area, and the other in Okrika. Um, same year, that wasn't very successful. But we moved on, and then we set up a YouTube um, channel, Wakrike. Cricket best side was called in 2018. And that same year, um, a young promising Wakrike man, um, Michael Carey Dick Williams, started Wakrike Language Clinic on Facebook. And his approach was really excellent and it attracted both young and the not so young to the Facebook channel. Unfortunately, the cold hands of of death snatching me away from us this week and it's really heartbreaking and then we just pray for his soul to rest in, in the peace of the lord and for comfort for all his family and friends Amen. and then going forward 2018 we also um set up wakrike um language software kirken went up in May that year, and a year later, we upgraded the app and also had a web um, platform for it. And then in July 2020, we set up an online Wakrike language school, Kirikenokwai Sukulu, and um, Miss, Mrs. Shego Joa, head teacher, has been in the front line providing the lessons for, for the students along with me and um, a few others, um, Broad Towns and Gary, or Belabara Parker, and so on. So we have the YouTube channel, we have the app, we are working hard to get the third edition of the app done this year. We are going to have the teaching on Wakrika Radio, and we're also preparing a workbook so that those who have the YouTube lessons or listen to it on radio can also practice to write and then practice to read and the whole idea is to practice, practice, practice. So this is like that kind of an update on what we have achieved so far. And with your help working together, our language is here to stay for a very, very long time. So I want to ask um, um, Auntie a few questions. Why is it that indigenous languages are going extinct and our people, you know, both those at home and those in town are not speaking our language much these days? Thank you. Well, there are multiple factors affecting um, the death of languages worldwide, as it were, especially African languages or indigenous languages. I think at the forefront of it is the effect of colonization. Um, many indigenous people, as we know, right across the globe were colonized and the main colonial masters, whether they be English, French, uh, Spanish, or Portuguese, wherever they uh, conquered and ruled, uh, imposed their, their language, and their languages became the lingua franca of such places. Uh, that lies at the root of it. Subsequently, this then developed into a you know, failure on the part of the indigenous governments to retain their own languages, 
whilst using the common colonial master's language it, 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 to the point where it, it became a crime almost even in boarding schools, places like boarding schools, uh, children were not allowed to speak their indigenous languages um, because of the mentality that was imposed on us as it were, our languages became inferior or started to be viewed as inferior to the colonial languages that were imposed on us. So you find um, in a family that uh, parents who, even parents who speak the same language begin to discourage speaking their language, don't encourage speaking their language to their children, they don't teach it. And uh, intergenerationally, the language slowly dies. Their grandparents in the house, in the household or who visit are not uh, allowed or encouraged to speak the language to the grandchildren. So, so very slowly, but gradually uh, and surely, language just slowly um, dies. There are also factors like um, intercultural marriages where as in my case, uh, you're married, an Okrika woman or an Okrika man is married to a Yoruba person. That's and, my case too. <laughs> as is your case, yes. Uh, we find that because we don't speak the same language, it, be it became an excuse for us. We speak English in the household and our children naturally followed. With hindsight, we all realize that, we realize now that we could have carried on speaking both languages to our children and the children would have learned and they would distinguish very perfectly distinguish between the languages is well known and documented now that children can learn up to five languages. So, so we will encourage people to look away from all the mistakes of the past. Let's look forward. Let's encourage our children. Let's um, uh, disband this idea of um, inferiority because our languages are not inferior our languages are our language is what holds us together that's what binds us together you know how you feel when you stumble on somebody if you go to a distant country and you stumble on somebody or you overhear somebody speaking your language instantly you call them out as your brother or sister and you begin it's like you've made a discovery so language is a very strong um factor for keeping a people together, keeping a culture together. So we need to encourage that. Our governments also have a part to play. They need to, our governments have to support indigenous, the growth of indigenous languages rather than ban them from schools and um, not give any form of uh, support to um, authors that may have books that will encourage the growth of our languages. Okay, let's, um, thank you very much, Auntie. Let's hear what some of our people at home and abroad, let's hear what they have to say about this and um, what we need to do differently. I uh, will back to you shortly. So. <laughs> Uh, you begin to worry. And the care that they do my EBK. What she say, or would you grab a woman, my one, my bear? And I to be begin my identity in what they are. Every engagement, where it to bond, they are packable. Arabo Tatari, you pack my baby, and a yoke when me. And secretly, what will you be barana? You feel barana, you confi barana, one labia. May better me up my one take a guapo. Mena yengi apu. Mena ere. Mena mena apuma. Ini ere minima. Ere aini oru. Sika ini ere asiki gogo. Aduko ini prepreme. Beke ni ma ini ye eduko. Awa mena na be chimbo ye eduko asiki. Ini ye gbe la gbe la me. Which. Or what is ya. Which is ya modern strong. Jene ma nake. Which is ya father strong. Ananake. Ananakaraka. Ere mna woma, ere mo, nenke ere mtoko da deba warbe. Si me mari kuru ake, asu ya bebe be. I am going to my father's house. Jene mana ke, I am going to my mother's house. Ye ma kere kere me. Dabo beo, 
me te be da war me pike se na nga bia ye ye ngi boma me okon mi se a o min ma bia bia ye mi oku wa bo eh to ye you don't go chop you don't come you don't bath in the okon wa ba mi no kon mi ye che nge be wo kuru na na edu ma be ke na ye bo kuma enu o bo la enu o fie ma ani be ke ma ni ani chi eh broken english speak quench english why name no me no be kenya ani tatara mo ko emi wa se oguta para ba ina mo ko emi wa se oguta ba ba agogo be me ni amba me ga na agbo ye re chame ori re ri na university of lagos ni wa mo ओपकाबोरो <laughs> मारिमी <laughs> 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 यानी <laughs> ani fabo wo bi andaka amoko eme ani gba fa so bi e mi ne yingi apo da apo pasisi ye wa kele amoko eme fie krikeno ko eme ye wa fie ye wa fie se ni mi na wo ma pere ana te bi ani ma mi na identity e ani ma mi ni ye wa nemi e mina amoko mi ne ka se fa me be be ndi ni wa ni mi oko moko mina wa ma amoko mi ne bari ni na fie ke mi ne se na puma so ni amoko mi abari ni da fie fie ke pasi si ye wa amoko mi fie ma mu let's make it intentional and speak our language of krika for that is our identity let's help ourselves help each other learn better so that mina amoko mi fie ke o mi ne mama ke da apo aro kere ni mo me na ye di e bo why kere ni me welcome back to another lesson so you are not apo wa pe ti ji pe ti bo sa बोसा <laughs> That means learners, I greet you, and the learners in turn respond. 
Yes, Richard. Obasa, no. Down local. You're a Dorothy. I am a Wakrika daughter. Unfortunately, I do not speak the language. I understand when spoken to me, but I can't speak. This school, Kurukayo Kwen Sukulu, has been a lifesaver. I am beginning to pick up on my language and I implore you all to do the same. Bring your children, your grandchildren, and even yourself. I and my children are going through the school. We will go through it together and learn together as a family. You can do the same. Register. It's been wonderful this past six years plus of the school. Hoi. Yoi. Pepepe. Well. Sakie. Eh. Bijai. Wow. That is the usual intro to Moonlight Story Time in Kakese. There are enormous benefits why we should learn and communicate in our mother tongue. Krekano coin, our native language, is our identity and helps us value our culture, traditions, and heritage. In other words, our native language connects us to our cultural heritage and fosters a sense of identity, allowing us to communicate with the older generation and thus preserving family history and traditions. Communicating in our dialect with each other creates immediate connection and brotherhood whenever we meet our king's folk who understand and speak the dialect. In an increasingly amorphous world, as immigrants, when we communicate in our dialect, we stay connected to our roots and celebrate our uniqueness. In fact, communicating in our dialect cuts off others from understanding what we say, thus preserving our confidences. Ability to learn, speak, and write Krikanokwai enhances our general knowledge, conferring on us the benefits of bi- and multilingualism. In children, learning Krikanokwai alongside learning how to talk enhances their cognitive abilities and language development because of the added stimulus to their brain. So we can confirm that learning and speaking Krikanokwai improves one's social skills and artistic diversity by providing more ways to appreciate and express creativity from the incorporation of Krikese Trado cultural art forms. It is for these reasons we encourage Okrikans everywhere to learn and communicate in Krikanokwai and thus bequeath a glorious heritage to the upcoming generation. Thank you. Thank you. Think about Dr. Abie Hector Goma and the various teams that since mid-2017 have worked hard to actualize learning the Greek language through many platforms, including this Krikana Kwansikulu on YouTube project. Our language is a very integral part of our culture. Understanding and transmitting it effectively enables us to preserve our identity and by extension reinforce, defend and protect ourselves through our ability to codify our messages. Nothing connects a people socially and culturally more than its language. Yaminapu, Wamwanga Mwanga Mina Mokwami wasi Libara Mamma Amokwami Nimi again if me and a barato apparently me and a tidy Ian if you say Samabani no Kuma Nobara say your Kibia 
One man, I'm not going to so sick, meaning bar. One picky, picky, I'm a movie. One name, making me go around me. East or West, home is the best. Time to know, I'm not going to say me, Welcome back. Um, so we've heard what our brothers and sisters have said about our language. And now some of you are listening to us and you are saying, I'm not going to say any fake, I mean, if you are. Well, the point is that when I guess I'm not going to say any fake, I'm not going to say any fake, I'm not going And then this is particularly for them. So it's important that we speak English because in my name, I'm not going to mean that one I'm going to mean already you are the converted. We are not going to preach to the converted. So on the positive side, um, I want to tell two quick stories. There is a good friend of mine is in Charlotte, in the United States. He has twin boys, and um, they've never been to Nigeria. I'm a, I'm a sort of in Lake. They've not been to Krika before. But when they were born, his mom traveled to go and look after them. And she just made up her mind that she would always speak our language to them. So these young boys with the American accent, they have learned the cricket or coin, even though they've never been home, just because grandma took it upon. In fact, when I spoke to my friend, he said he had to brush it up his own cricket or coin because the children were even getting better than him. He grew up in Lagos. So that's an example that when there's a will, there's always a way. So that's one example. Another one is a young, a young, a young chap. In US again, he just woke up one day and said, I want to learn Cricket and Coin. He went to a YouTube channel, he looked for books, he looked for things on YouTube and so on. I have spoken to this young man once or twice. I cannot believe it. Waribi, I'm not going if you care. On his own, he has learned our language. So these two are kind of examples. And finally, one of my friends back in the 60s, his parents grew up. We are all over the place. They were in Kano for many years. They were in Igbo land for many years. What would be in my in, uh, in uh, their father and their mother in Dukome began a few for us. So the three, all of them in the house, although they lived in Kano and they lived in the east, they learned, they spoke fluent Kekanokwen before the war. So I just want to use these three examples to tell us that Amokwe me name up my fear. So there is hope that with passion, I know a lot of people who are waiting for these YouTube videos to come. But in fact, we are excited bringing these videos to you. So um, we've done our bit. You are going to do your bit. I'll hand over to Auntie to kind of have the final words before we bring this session to an end. Well, I'm, I'm also dying to add my own personal testimony. Ere, kerekeni yike. So I wasn't born in Okrika and I wasn't, I didn't grow up in Okrika. Uh, my father was an Anglican uh, head teacher and we went all over the country. And yet my father made a conscious decision to speak the language to us. And it was a, the Nigerian Biafra, the civil war that brought us home for the first time, most of us in the family. Uh, I definitely got to Okrika for the first time you know, nearly 10 years of age. Um, but I could speak the language and the people back home were all surprised that me at the look when you hear woman, me near what it is. Until we started catching them out that we actually okoroma to me we speak the language and and that took them by surprise. So 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 there's no excuse. There's no excuse for whether you live at home or you don't live at home, whether your children were born wherever they're born, if you know some, speak the language, speak the, what you know. And in fact, by speaking to your children, you yourself will improve your own. Mastery of the language, yes. Mbaka. So every Saturday, there'll be a new video on YouTube. So tell your family, tell your friends to subscribe. Every Saturday, there'll be a new a new video for you to watch. And then listen, learn, and speak. Uh, you have to speak. And then we have a few WhatsApp groups, several WhatsApp groups, and several places on Facebook. We'll try and bring things together so that having watched it on YouTube, if people need to have conversations, there'll be opportunities for you to come together on YouTube and so on for, for that or on Facebook for that conversation. Omiya Samo Dena Sime. 
Boa noite, Nasce Meia. Minha sal. We will end this series. Amém,